We had quite the display of hail that came down on Monday, and we have another hail outbreak that's possible on Tuesday. So let me explain how hail forms in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So it's all about looking at the atmosphere in 3D. So strong thunderstorms have both a strong updraft and also a downdraft. So here we are on the ground. This is what the storm looks like if we were able to see everything. Now, typically what happens when you have a regular thunderstorm is that you get the updraft and then the rain simply falls. However, when you have severe weather or really strong updrafts is that you have that rain that climbs into the cold parts of the atmosphere and freeze and then they become hailstones. And so if they fall, you'll usually get pea sized hail, but it doesn't stop there. If the storms are violent enough and strong enough, the updrafts make those hailstones continue to climb in the atmosphere. They come down, the updraft pushes them back up again, so they grow in size. So the hailstones collide with supercooled water droplets in the cloud. Now it will stay like this until one of two things happens. Once the hailstones grow large enough, they'll be able to fall, or when the updraft weakens, the hail will come down onto the ground. So that's what we saw on Monday, and it's again possibility on Tuesday. Now, non-severe hail is anything from a pea size up to a nickel size, but severe hail will start at quarter size hail, one inch to ping pong size to golf ball size. These are all three of the sizes that came down on Monday and again are possible on Tuesday, and it's all dependent on how much time it spends in the cloud in that super cooled air. And the reason it's classified as severe is this is the size that it can damage either your home, your property or your car that's out. So be aware this is the forecast for Tuesday.